Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you what I call my own read and react basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, what I like to call read and react basketball plays is essentially you have a set offense, either a 5 out or a 1, like a 4 out 1 in or like a 3-2 offense, you can have multiple different options. But essentially, what you're looking to do is have your players think for themselves and run what will work to score. So, this kind of an offense, I used to like to run it kind of weirdly with a triangle offense, or at least a triangle version of the motion, and it works really, really good. So let me show you that, plus a few of the others, and let me explain my decision on why I love to run this offense. So the read and react basketball offense, it basically, I'll show you the different kinds of movements, but I'm not going to show you it against the different defenses because you can do kind of all these different movements with all the different defenses. So first, if you want to run the triangle motion, read and react, what I like to do, basically... Player 1 will pass to player 2, and he's going to cut down to that low wing. Now at this time, we are in the triangle offense. Now there's many, many different ways that you can run this. Either you can run it like the motion, where now player 3 and 4 will move up, player 2 will pass to player 3, and player 3 will fill in that spot, player 4 will fill in that spot, and now we'll have player 1 using player 5 as a screen who will pop out, this will be a swing around to player one, and player two will go to the post, and maybe open in the post. That's just one off uh, option. Player five would, at that point would then move out, and player four would go down to that corner because he made that pass, the entry pass, so he's going to go down to that corner. Now at this time, there could be many, many different options of what to do. Now player three could screen for player five. That might get player five open, or he could also go to the high post. That's another option. Now, in the high post, he may get that ball. Player 2 could back screen for player 4, and 4 would be open in the post. Basically, allowing your team to think for themselves. So, some of the biggest things that you could run is having player 2 back screening, knowing what a back screen is. Also, screen and rolls. So, you could have... Player 2 setting a screen on player 1. This could be a screen and roll. Player 2 could get the ball. Or if there was help defense from player 4, player 1 could pass out to player 4 for the 3-point shot. There's multiple different ways to score. Just make sure that your team is spread out and they're, they're running a certain type of offense. So that would be the triangle. And back screen, screen and rolls, knowing where players are on the court and how to get them open, things like that. Try to explain to your players that if you're not moving in the read and react, there's something wrong. You need to continuously move. You can't stay in one spot for more than two seconds. I want you to continuously move. Go and screen for somebody. If the ball is frozen, let's say nothing's happening, screen for somebody. Four, five could screen for player three, two could back screen for player four, or vice versa. We could have player five screening for player three, and we could have player four screening on player two who could pop up to the three-point line, and player three cutting down, and this could be an alley-oop lob. There's multiple different options to run on this. Now let's go over to the five out and see how we can run the five out. Now in the five out, basically, we all know the basics, the pass and screen away or the pass and screen for the pass and cut. Those are all different options and those are three things that you can continuously just change up. So you could have player one pass to player two and screen away. Meanwhile, Player 2 could pass to player 5 and cut towards the rim, which would then bring player 4 out and player 2 back out to where player 4 was. There's multiple different options, and this is just basically to switch up your offense so that you cannot allow the defense to figure out what you're running. This way you're running a, a, one complete set, but now you are being able to read the defense and react to what they are doing. So if they're covering you when you're... If they're starting to cheat and know that you're screening away too often, now what you could do is go and 
pass to player four and screen four, and this could be an, a screen and roll, which would then bring the defense in, in which case they could pass out for a three, things like that. Many different options with this offense. Now for a three, two, you could have player one. He could be passing to player three, and at that point, we could screen away, but also have player five back screening for player four instead of the regular motion where they would still screen away but having player four go and stack the side. Or even if player one was to pass, there's another version of it where he would pass and he would go down to that corner. Now we're really stacking the side and player two would be up at the key extended right there. Now there's multiple different options. Now if we're playing against a zone, this may be a fantastic option. We may want to have, because if it's a two, three, and we have a nobody really guarding, front facing, back facing, up top, nobody guarding this guy, he may be able to sneak way over here and you may be able to lob him a pass. Now you don't generally don't want to go and do ha like cross court passes. That's usually a no-no, but that's that's an option because if, if this player sees an opening on this side of the court, we may have an option for maybe even a screen and roll with player four so that now he's open, the defense is collapsing on player three and he can kick it out for a three point shot. So it's all about reading the defense and seeing what is out there in open spots or moving around on the court to see who the heck is open. So when I run the read and react basketball offense, every coach has a different way of running it. But basically you could say, okay, we're going to run the five out and this is going to be read and react. So don't just go a pass and screen away or pass and screen four. I want you to mix it up. If you see that the defense is cheating or if there's an opening on the court, Take it, take advantage, and hit them where it hurts and get a basket. So that's how I like to run it. Every coach is different, so keep on watching these videos, these different read and react videos, and take what will work for your team. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day, so I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Basketball players, are you looking to jump higher? If you are, there's a book in the description called The Jump Training Book that is going to help you just like it has helped many other players. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.